everyone and welcome to PE Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct angle 52 and the half. So that's angle 52 and the half degrees. So now in constructing this um, this video, I'm going to be showing you two method. And um, if you have watched other previous on, uh, videos on my construction of angles like this, this um, you see that I, one thing I do mention is that basic knowledge of angle 60, angle 30, angle 90, and how to bisect them is very important. Exactly. So, and the first thing I want, I want us to do is in this method, first method I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be using angle 45 degrees plus angle 7 and the half degrees. Exactly. We are going to be combining these two angles to give us angle uh, 52 and the half. So, just like you, um, the sample you are seeing on the screen, um, you, or you, or you probably I might have shown it earlier, you see that all the construction lines are very, very thin. You might not even see them except the lines that is showing the angle 52 and the half degrees. And that is how your drawing should be, exactly. So the only thing that should be bold is the line showing the, um, the angles. However, in this video, I'm going to be making all the lines bold so that you can see them. But whenever you are drawing yours, make sure you use some construction lines, which are thin lines. So for us to get started, I'm going to draw my um, straight line. So I bring in my compass and I pick a, pick a point O, which is going to be the center. And then from there, I'm going to draw a semicircle on this line. So also take note of uh, the point where the semicircle is touching the points. So this is so let's call the center. This is point O, and then let's call this A, A B. So the first thing I want to construct is angle 45. Exactly. And for us to get angle 45, um, we are going to first construct angle 90, and then from angle 90, we bisect it to give us angle 45. All right. So I'll bring in my compass at any convenient length. I place it on point B. I'll draw an arc. And then I place it on point A with the same length. I'll draw an arc. Now, from the point of intersection, like I do say, make sure you pick the. Uh, you, you are very careful enough where picking your point of intersection so that you can get accurate result. So we draw a line. So now we already have 90. The next thing is for us to um, bisect the angle 90 and so that we can get 45. So now let me take note of where this perpendicular line is touching the semicircle so it's touching at this point and let me call that point point c so that means we have our angle um, cob equals to 90 so now we are going to divide this to give us 45 so what we are we do we do we're going to bisect the angle with the same uh, with the particular length on your compass we go to point b we draw an arc don't forget like i said all these things we have been doing so far should be faint line exactly and then with the same length, you come to point C, you draw an arc. So from the point of intersection, which is right here, you draw a line to point O. So you draw a line to point O. So that means the angle here, so let's call this point, um, so where this line is touching the semicircle, let me call it point D. So that means we already have our angle DOB to be 45 degree. Exactly. Now we've gotten 45. The next thing we want to get is to get our angle 7 is 7 and a half. And for us to get our 7 and a half, this is what we are going to do. Remember, this is 45. And then we are going to construct angle 60 on this side. Exactly. So with the same length of um, compass that I used in drawing my semicircle earlier, I've not adjusted. So I, I'll place it on point B. Exactly, I place it on point B and then I'll draw an arc on the semicircle. Now, where that arc is touching the semicircle, it's touching it right here. It's touching it right here. Exactly. So, let me call that point point E. Let me call that point point E. Now, I won't be drawing a line to pass through that place, but I want to achieve something there. But just know that this is this point here. If I'm to draw a line to point O and to point B, it's going to be 60 degrees. So I can just say we have EOB to be 60, 60 degrees. Now, if you look at these two angles here, from here to here, that means we are going to be having 60 minus 45 degrees. Exactly. That means the... Okay, let me just go ahead and draw it so that you don't get confused. But if you get the concept, you might not need to draw it anyway. So 
if from here to here is 45 but from here to here which is eob is 60. so the difference between the two will give us 15 degrees that means this angle here is 15 degrees exactly and it, if we go ahead to divide it into two we are going to have our seven and a half and that is what we need to add to our 45 degrees that we've gotten already to give us 52 and a half exactly so what do we do now let's bisect so you bring back your compass you place it on point d so from point d you draw an arc with the same length you come to point e and then you draw an arc so what you want to do now is to take note of the point of intersection so which is um which is right here so from the point of intersection so this is actually the line that should be made bold because this is the line that is giving us the angle and then this so with this now we've already gotten our angle 52 and a half because by bisecting this angle 15 that means here is seven and a half and this is seven and a half and don't forget this this from here to here is 45 so now we already have our angle 52 and a half degrees so this is the first method so let me just use it to so right there we already have our 52 and the app decrease so this is one way to go about it so quickly in the next few minutes two minutes three minutes let me show you another alternative so let me just note this at method one method one so there are some of these angles there are different ways to go about it if you can just play around with some of those basic angles and then you come you'll be able to um, get it now let's look at another alternative to getting it so let me call this method two now remember we are doing 52 and the app exactly so one thing you can just if you should multiply this by two you are going to be getting 130 i mean uh you are going to be getting 105 degrees so that's going to give us 105 degrees exactly so what does that mean that means if we can get 105 degrees by construction method exactly not with the use of a protractor and we bisect it down to divide it into two it's still going to give us 52 and the half exactly so now the question is how do you get your 105 and if you have to get 105 degrees it's simply Construct 90 degrees plus 15 degrees. Exactly. So now let's apply this. So let me draw my straight line. So if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. So let me draw my straight line. And then um, I'll draw my semicircle. I'll pick a point on that uh, on the line and draw a semicircle. So I'll note the um, point on this line so let me call the center zero i mean point o rather and then let me call this a and b so that means a is where the same circle is touching this line and b is where it's touching it on the spot all right so now the first thing we want to do is to draw angle 90 so in drawing our angle 90 i'll bring in my my compass and then from point b i'm going to draw an arc and then from point a also i'm going to draw an arc so from the point of intersection I'm going to draw a line to point O. So this uh, this approach is also good if you want. It's also another way of learning how to draw angle 105 degrees. So now we already have 90. So let me call this point where this line is touching the semicircle, where this perpendicular line. Let me call it point C. So let me just write it um, somewhere here. Let me call it point C. Now, I can also use my compass to construct angle 60 on this uh, on this quadrant, on this second quadrant here. And to do that, I'll, with the same length of compass that I used to draw my semicircle, which is this, I'll come to point A, I'll draw an arc. Is that clear? Because what I want to do now is to get fif um, 15 degrees, don't forget, that will give us 105. Now, where it is touching, where this arc that I've just drawn is touching it here, so let me call it point uh, point D. Exactly. So just like what happened here, I might not need to draw this line. Exactly. But let me just do it. But it's not it's not necessary. You can still get it without drawing it. So that you don't just get confused. So with that now, that means this place is 30 degrees. This angle here, that is angle D O C is 30 degrees, right? And that means angle A O D. So that means angle A 
angle D is what 60 degrees and that gives us 90 so but our core interest now is this angle DOC is for us to divide it into two so that we can have 15 you know 15 here 15 here if you should add the 15 on this side to 90 you already have our 105 I hope that is clear all right so for us to bisect it you bring back your compass so from point C you draw an arc with the same length you come to point D you draw an arc now from the point of um, intersection which is right here from point of intersection which is right here so you're going to draw a line to point O so with this now we already have our angle 105 exactly so that means our angle 105 is um, this. so let me call this point for this line that I've just drawn let me call it point E so that means we have um, angle EOB to be equal to 105 degrees exactly so now the next thing for us now is to bisect the entire angle 105 that means if you divide it by 2 then that will give us our 52 and the half so if you are following or if you have watched other videos on these drawings uh, you don't have any problem so what we do is we pick bring our compass again we by place on point B draw an arc I hope you can see this and then you go to point E that is the line that is showing us the angle 105 you draw an arc with the same length exactly so from the point of intersection which is right here you draw a line to point O you draw a line to point O and with this now we're cutting our angle 52 and the half so so this right here is angle 52 and the half and this is um, this is this this is the method two so in this particular video i've shown you two different ways to go about drawing i mean constructing angle 52 and the half so you can bring in your protractor just to confirm Exactly. So if, if you get everything right, if your bisection is right, if your angle is correct, then you'll be getting it. So, so like you can see, if you can look it very closely, I don't know if you can see. You see that the line is between 52 and 53. I don't know if um, I don't know if you can see it closely. Let me see. But anyway, it will be between it, and that's to tell let you know that the answer is actually correct. So, so that is it for this video. If you find value in this, please give it a thumbs up and let me know which of these two methods you think is more easy, easier and um, convenient to do. Is it the method one or the method two? So if you also want to know how to construct every other angles, um, just check the playlist on this sheet. Now I have um, different angles that I've done already in other videos. So you can just check the playlist to check out other videos on how to construct different angles like this. Uh, like seven and a half, 78, three quarter, that seven and a half, you know, there are a lot of them. So just check the playlist and I believe uh, you'll find them there. So thank you very much. If you have any question or any comments, do leave them in the description, I mean, in the comment section below and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.